Hi Janine, yeah, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a box that I've created and a tea book. Um, yeah, here's the box. Yes, it's in beautiful purple and lavender shades. This box, um, a couple of months ago, I was involved with a swap with Phoebe Tonasaki and I we all know and Phoebe is a really good amazing crafter and everybody that watches her channel or has got to know her knows that she loves purple so when I made my projects for her I had made two boxes one we have mostly used paper and I made this one we have used mostly fabric and lace I then taken two two photographs, sent it on Facebook and she chose the other one. So I had this one just laying around and it's an oval box. I knew that I was going to use it for something so let me show you the the box. I've done nothing to the lid inside. I'm not sure if I will do anything to it because you know I might just put a piece of felt there with a little embellishment. I'm not sure. I'm, uh, the reason why I'm not sure is because I'm not even sure who I'm going to give this to yet. So I have this lovely lace. I got this from, um, where did I get this from? A lady that lives in Abu Dhabi. Um, her name will come to me, I'll mention it. And I added this lace just to dangle off the two sides. Um, here's a bit of a pearl, oh, oh, sorry, dangle with some pearl beads in it and flowers, some lavender dry flowers, a feather. I've added some glitter to the flowers as you can see, and underneath I have this applique. And on the box, I added felt and I added a, a curtain and this fabric lace fabric over there, pearls all the way around and this lovely trim it also has some pearls in it and yeah so here we go that's the lid the box um the box has got the purple underneath and the box comes in this color with this blue and green so when you put the lid on like that you if i had to decorate this lid it would not have fitted the you know like this it would not it would have struggled to go over there so i just left it um on the i added this fabric on the base of the outside base of the box i added this fabric this lace on the top and the bottom and i love this i'm not sure if it was an old i got it from my mom i'm not sure if it was an old sheet or duvet cover I'm not sure but I love that pattern in there as you guys can see beautiful and I added these cut out these flowers from the prima lace all the flowers are the same and I didn't overdo the decorations on the box itself because I think it looks great just the way it is I don't think it needs anything else so yeah here we go. That's the front of the box. So, inside the box, I have the book. Let me show you inside the box first. A bit of that lavender dry flowers in there. Let me just pick it up. There we go. That's the inside of the box. I've used some flimsy white fabric, gathered it around the inside, added the same pull that I used on the outside inside it, and the same lace on the outside I've used inside as well to, to line it. So that's my box, and then inside the box I made a book, a tea book. I've posted a picture of this cover on Miss Annie Miss Garden Grove 
group on Facebook um, because this beautiful purple trim I've used in the book in a few places I bought at her Etsy store. I will put the link to her, her store um, and her Facebook group in the description below. So this is the tea book I've made. Um, if you guys watched the sewing book I made for Jean Rag, I've based this book on the same design. I had two bases that I'd already made when I made the book for Jean, so I just used this one to finish this tea book. And um, it, at, okay, I'll do the back. This is the front. It's got that flower I made and underneath I've got a doily, I've got fabric and oh, strings. doily, I've got lace covering over there, the doily, lots of lace on the side and I've got a piece of that lace fabric just dangling there and I put a flower on with some applique some more trim dangle this dangle uh, none of it those dangles not from this garden grove they are I put some random um, pull right back poles what I love about the cover is I added a tiny teacup and a tiny saucer I think it just looks gorgeous, don't you think? Yeah, we have this lovely um, lace. I bought this from a, a Etsy supplier. I can't think of a name right now. And I I take the ribbon all the over to the back onto the side like that. At the back, I have pretty much the same lace and fabric that I have in the front cover. I have this dangle trim, it's from his garden grove store as well, beautiful, I put some pearls, um, actually I didn't do that, that's part of the, of the lace, and yeah, and then on the side, I have a seam binding, with a tied in a bow, I have a flower, lavender flower, with a piece of pling hanging on the side so that's the way that's the way you see it so when you open the first page oh and I've used um, rice paper throughout all the images are on rice paper including this one that says tea time I just tore it off the rice paper all the rice paper I've used here is from a Italian uh, a store called St um, brand Stamperia you can google it and see as well there I've added some more of that pink lace so let's go to the this page before we go to that on this page I just have this um, the rest you know some of the dangles showing I have the clock this is from the rice paper I love the idea of the clock because you know it would say tea time I because you know this that I put around the clock there was actually um, you know the what you buy to look to hang your glasses on and let me see if I have just hang on I think I still have um, yeah see you know you slip this you slip your glasses in there and I know my dad has a, has a few pairs like this, but I saw this in Daiso and I thought, you know what, I could use this for something else. And I used, this is the white, I used the cream in that. So I put it position, uh, you know, I glued it down around the clock. I put this doily underneath it and I love how it comes out because it looks almost like a sundial. And some pearl trim there, again, this absolutely gorgeous uh, trim from Miss Garden Grove. Um, these are all 
lace from my stash and a little flower cluster, ribbon flower cluster over there. So, so the book opens and this is the first page. And then you have the inside of the book. Now let me see if you guys can see that. I will just go through it. I'll just show it to you. Well, I'll do it one by one. So the first page. Um, again, I've, like I said, it's on the same style as the uh, sewing book I made for Jean. And here we have some more of the dangles. Well, it's the same dangles really. It just shows up throughout the book. I've got a purple little piece hanging down here, flower in the corner, and I have another one of those rice images. I put some of the lavender dry pieces inside the cup, and some nice lace on top, and inside the pocket I have tea, different packets of tea. I was thinking so of Michelle when I was making this book because Michelle loves uh, tea, anything tea. So, and then I have this very old doily at the back, piece of uh, from a tablecloth, and at the back as well, added some pearls around the image. There's another big pearl and some netting I have like that. And then on the middle part of the book, I made a dress. So the story behind the dress is when in the 60s and later, um, earlier rather, the ladies used to dress up for tea and they had um, tea or slash afternoon dresses. So I googled um, the dresses and I saw that it was not very, it was quite simple and not you know I had the option to lace up this dress and I thought no you know it's a tea dress it's a tea frock and so I based made it with this purple fabric added the lace at the bottom and that's the color of the dress and the blings on the side it's also open at the back I have included the top down and there's also some more tea in at the back can see her dress is open, let's just glue it down like that. So yeah, it's tea time and that's the tea dress. As you see the bit of a bow coming out that, that ties at the back of dress um, for when she goes to tea. So whoever, you know, and then will be wearing that dress when she goes to tea. And then the last page is pretty much the same as the first one. Oops, I don't want that to fall over. Um, and I have the milk jug, I put some more of the dried lavender flowers in there, the same little flower uh, bow hanging down, same as the other side. Some more of that nice bling over there, the flower, and of course we have tea, tea bags. So there's a nice wide selection of tea, I'll show you guys all the tea afterwards when I'm finished with the book. Um, so yeah, again, I've got some pearls around the, the image, there is some wadding underneath to puff it up on all the images, there's some wadding. So, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but I will do it like this. There you go. Right. So... All the dangles, not much. I didn't overload it with dangles like I would, like you know, like we do with the books and that. And I just kept it so the book closes like that and like that, you know. And you and you open it. I just made this little piece here to dangle to hang down that way. Um, the back, simple. I didn't do anything to the back other than I might just put my name there. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't, I don't know who I'm going to give this to. But I might make it part of my giveaway prize for my YouTube channel. Um, as you guys know, I did put up a little 
video to say I will be giving prizes. I'm just trying to get all my swap items out of the way. I'm involved with a few swaps and I have deadlines. And also, I have two birthdays that I'm busy making for. And I have my normal life and other things that I have to do. So, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. But I might make this part of the... These are uh, of the um, giveaway prizes. These are petaloo flowers. They are gorgeous. See, I've had them. They're not really fabric. I have them all over. And the teacup. Oh, I love the teacup. I love the teacup. Let me take out the rest of the tea. So, yeah. Again. And the last one. So let me put that down there. So we have different teas. We have Royal Breakfast. Two of those. We have two Arabic writing over there. Two of those. Arabic tea, we have um, lemon, hibiscus, and rose hip tea. We have two Moroccan tea, and we have two imperial or black tea. These are super nice. So, here we have it, guys. My little tea book inside my oval box and dangle on the lid and the lady who gifted this lace to me her name is Farah Ali and she lives thank you Farah she lives in Abu Dhabi so ladies this is my project let me know what you think and yeah thanks for dropping by see you soon